Sini pun akan hujan. It's going to rain soon. Yeah. Alright. Okay, now I'm recording this already. Okay, let's look at our exercise or uh, activity 2.1. This should be easy for you. It's a rectangular channel with which is the B, eh? right? The symbol is B. It's two meter. It carries, you, you know, you when I said two meter, you should have a good idea how wide it is, eh? how wide is two meter. All right, you know that our height is about, you know, 1.5, 1.6 meter high, right? So you kind of know, you know, when I said two meter, how wide it is, all right? It carries, a, it carries water or flow at the depth of 0 0.5 meter, eh? about 50 centimeter high. Eh? The channel is laid on a slope of 0 0.004, all right? It has a longitudinal or bad slope of 0 0.004. Cheesy coefficient is 70. 3.6 compute discharge of channel now you see the formula when it says chasey coefficient is given you know already the formula that you are going to use is the chasey for example we just learned about two you know uniform flow equations right which is the many and also the chasey since the question gives you chasey coefficients you know already you can use this formula now however Sometimes the question is not straightforward. Sometimes they give you depth of flow, they give you this rate of flow, they give you longitudinal slope, they ask you to find cheesy coefficient. Sometimes they ask all the other uh, parameters are given, they ask you to find the longitudinal or bad slope. Sometimes, all right, all the you know, the other variables are provided. However, you need to solve for depth of flow. Now, in order to solve for depth of flow, for triangular section, it's straightforward. All right, you can solve it directly. But for trapezoidal, rectangular, even circular, all right, uh, section, you need to do some try and error. All right, that means you have to, but if you have, scientific calculator which you, are, you guys are using right now right it should be easy for you to find the depth of flow lah all right even if it's try and error all right we'll learn about that huh, later okay now uh therefore all right you have all those for triangle rectangular section the depth of flow would sorry the area the cross sectional area of flow would be a equals to by now, since B is 2, Y is 0 0.5, so your A is 1 meter square. Where that parameter is Y plus B plus Y, so you have there B plus 2Y, which is 3 meter. Hydraulic radius is there for A divided by P, so you have there 1 over 3. Now, anything wrong with my hydraulic radius here? Nothing right. Okay, unit is meter eh? because area is meter squared. Weighted parameter is meter. So your hydraulic radius should be in meter as well. Eh? All right. So therefore, you know, you already have A, C, R and S naught. Okay, you can substitute all the known values. You should be able to get your uh, rate of flow, which is 0 0.85 meter cube over second. All right. Okay, now this is another activity. This is the previous slide and I didn't change the number of activities. You have a 10 meter wide rectangular channel flow, uh, channel which carry flow at a depth of one meter. Now this is five times wider, all right, channel than the previous one. Okay, longitudinal slope 0 0.08 and then chasey 0 0.0008, eh? Chasey coefficient is 55. Now, the difference of Chasey coefficient, you have learned that higher Chasey coefficient means the lining is smoother, all right? Lower Chasey coefficient tells, inform you that the channel itself is very rough, all right? That means it slows down the flow, okay? So the same thing, this is just an additional exercise for you, eh? You find 
and the cross sectional flow area you find the wetted perimeter then you can get your rate of flow which is the discharge lah. okay substitute all the known values you should be able to get this all right um you have all this exercise you have to cover up the answer or solution you need to do it yourself uh, however i'm going to share all these solutions to you lah. all right end of the chapter but please remind me sometimes i receive too much text messages when i read it and then before i manage to you know reply or respond to your message i i actually i'm attending another things already so just remind me a few times all right if i uh, i haven't replied you um now there's this exercise too right okay uh, regarding a compound channel section when i say compound that means it consists it is the channel itself the channel section is a combination of few basic sections for example here we have you know a tri half triangular we have a, a rectangular we have a, a segment a circular segment all right uh, of a channel all right so it's a combination so this is a compound channel all right the bed slope is 0 0.001 it's steeper eh, than previous one the previous one is 0 0.0008 right so this is steeper a bit churam, eh? determine discharge of flow if manning coefficient is 0 0.022 so you know already manning coefficient is given is provided so you can straight away use manning coefficient uh, manning Meaning roughness discharge coefficient. So uh, you need to determine the discharge in this case. All right. Now before we solve the problem, right? Let's look at this. I I I actually received um, few questions uh, from um, all of you, right? Regarding uh, you know similar question like this. You see, yeah. For this section here, right? Okay. If I, there, if I imagine, right, this is a circular section, right? Okay, I will get something like this, all right, where the center is above the free surface of the flow. If you look at this, this you are going to get, cut this into three segments, right? If you want three subsections, uh, sub but you can have two as well. That means one and then two. All right, it doesn't matter. You can cut it into three subsections. All right, so let's look at the sections with which involve um, segment of a circular. You have here the center is here, which is located above the surface of flow. If you imagine this is a, um, you know, a, a segment of a right circular section. So you have this case, which is case one. Case two, when it's fully, it when it's half full which you know it is a semicircular shape case three is when the free surface is above the center of the circular section all right for case one right your if you look at this formula for the circular section right of channel two things is the angle right when you draw the edge of the free surface and you connect it at the center of the circular section so two theta is the angle that makes you know with that line that connects to the center all right so that is two theta now in case one here so okay let's go to case two first uh, which is the easiest if it's a semicircular okay now uh, I want to ask Zaidato. Zaidato, are you able to answer my question? Hi, Miss. Uh, which one? Okay. If it's a complete circle, if the flow is full, uh, that means pipe flow, lah, huh? when it's full, there's no free surface, if, if it's pipe flow, what is the value of 2 theta? 360. <clears throat> yes, correct. Thank you. It's 360 degree, right? I hope everyone get it correct. Eh? Now, if it's semicircular, that means it's half full. That means your 2 theta would be 180 degree. Now, what if, you know, 
it is less than half full. That means your two theta must be less than 180 degree. Okay. And for the third case, you know when the free surface is above the center of your circle, then your two theta must be above or be beyond 180 degree. So get it, get this clear. I hope, uh, you know, I hope this help you with the understanding of using this circular, uh, circle formula. Again, all right, if you are using, again, you look at the mode of your calculator that you are using. If the mode is degree, make sure, all right, your two theta is in degree and your two theta here is in radian. Because if you solve sine two theta, you'll get a value in radian. So, of course, radian minus radian, you'll get a sum value. Lah. But if you use this two theta in degree, you wouldn't get the answer because one is in degree unit, the other one is in radian. So, it's not... Uh, the same unit, all right? So solving this as well, this should this theta should be in radian, all right? Because you have sine theta degree, you'll get a radian. That is, if your calculator is put in the mode of degree, if your calculator is put in the mode of radian, of course, you can plug in radian lah value directly, okay? For both, all right? So it doesn't matter. You, you should try this out with the exercise to check. What if you change it? What would be the best mode to use? All right, for me, I think I would just use the degree. All right, so that I wouldn't confuse myself. All right, okay. Now, um, I hope this is clear, but I'm going to share this slide with you. Eh? All right, so I divide in this activity, right? I divide this into three sections, subsections. Eh? So, one which uh, consists of a segment of a circle, circle. Segment, uh, section two, and then section three, which is half of a triangular. All right, so I have a rectangular here. So now, somebody asked me, all right, uh, how the, two, the angle, all right, the theta is not given. How am I going to find the theta? So just a second, I'm going to enlarge this, all right? So I'm going to enlarge this. I'll go back. Uh, no, just... Okay. All right then. Now, let's look at this. All right, this is the radius of this. Imagine there's a circle here. All right, this is the radius, which is 0 0.9 meter. Therefore, now 1.6 meter is not the diameter. Huh? It is actually the width, all right, of your free surface. All right, of your not it's, it's actually not free surface lah, all right, but it's the width of the surface contained in this uh, circular segment here, all right. So the width is 1.6, right? So the diameter is actually 1.8 meter. Eh? I believe this is a quiz question, eh? all right. So, um, how are you going to find two theta, uh, theta or two theta here? Um, I told you this is just a simple tree go. Uh, trigonometric uh, question. Eh? You have here your radius because you know, even you connect it to any, you know, uh, any point along your circular line, you're, you are going from the center, you are going to get the uh, your radius, right? So you see, this is the same, the same thing that I'm going to do. So I my radius would be the line connecting the center to the edge of the water, all right, for this section that I'm considering, all right. So I have here half, all right, width would be 0 0.8 meter. The radius is 0 0.9 meter. Can I get theta? Yes, because I know that, that which function that relate, you know, my 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 would be my sine. All right, my sine function, which is 
given as sine theta equals to 0 0.8 over 0 0.9. All right. So therefore, theta would be uh, or one point. You can use radian because uh, or and also you you are going to need you know your theta in degree as well. All right. Uh, to substitute for this. So theta would be 1.095 or 62.73 degree. So therefore, you know, if you want to find the flow area, you need to find the, you need to know the value of two theta. Therefore, you just times two, all right? For the radian value and also the degree value, you are going to have your two theta there. Substitute the known value, of course, you are going to get the answer, but let's go one by one here. So I have three, I have divided this compound channel into three sections, uh, three subsections. I have A1, A2, A3. So A1 would be, you know, D squared over A, 2 theta minus 2 theta. I already know my value of 2 theta, so I substitute. A2 would be B2 times Y2. The depth of this rectangular uh, section, the depth would be 1.2, eh? Uh, don't add it up, man, eh, until below. All right, it's just this segment, uh, section that we are considering. So the width would be 1.5 plus 1.6, which is 3.1 meter, right? So this is my area. How about this triangular section here? Yeah. So now typical formula that we use to find the area of triangular section. Uh, section would be z y squared, but this is only half of it, you know? it, it doesn't consider the other half. So the formula that I'm going to use is half of z y squared. What is my z? Okay, z would be uh, since my uh, you know vertical is two, make to make it one, I need to divide by two. Therefore, horizontal also I divide by two. So my z is one point five. Uh, so Zy squared, y would be 1.2 meter, all right? So therefore, my a flow area for this compound channel would be 5.357 meters squared. Um, some of you may ask me, how many decimal points that you need to give me for your answer? Um, my answer would be, you need to provide me four significant numbers. For example, in this case, 5.357 is four significant number. All right. Uh, in this case, this is five significant number. You could give me one to 5.5. It doesn't matter uh, because I told, uh, as I said, I actually need four significant number. What if is in this case here, this is actually one significant number, right? All right, but of course this is given. But if you are going to solve as not for me, I would need you to give me, for example, 0 0.001020, for example, that would be four significant number. I hope you understand. Eh? Um, I, it's easier, eh? we'll just stick to four significant number. For example, this is four significant number, 62.73, all right? But, but, you know, if it involves greater value, for example, 12,500, you just give me a, one decimal point is sufficient, all right? I don't, it's, because it's already four significant numbers, all huh, right? Okay, now, therefore, okay, let's go back. Eh? Uh, I need this diagram here uh, so that, No, we are going to look at how we are going to find our wetted parameter. Okay. All right. So now, let's look at wetted parameter we have solved for our flow area. What is the wetted parameter for this subsection here? Now, remember, it doesn't involve this dash line eh? because there's no boundary. It's not, there's no parameter of channel. Eh? The parameter of channel is just this. This, this guy here, right? Okay, this line here, all right? So for this case, the weather parameter is theta d, which is the formula, lah, all right, given in that table. 
So you have there theta. Remember, eh? this is theta, not two theta. Eh? So you are using theta 1.095 times D, 1.8. P2. Remember, your se section, subsection 2 is this rectangular section here. P2 would be just 1.5 plus 1.2. This is not a parameter of channel and this is not a parameter of channel. Remember that it's just 1.5 plus 1.2. All right, for P2. How about for P3? P3 is just this guy here. So is this Y square root 1 plus Z squared? Because in the table, it is given as 2y, right? Because you have both sides. Now, it is only one side. Now, you know, the formula that I'm teaching you now is one by one, right? That means you find A1, A2, depending on your section, uh, the subsections that you have. Different, if you look at different reference books, Different reference book may have different method of solving for your compound, uh, for the flow area and weighted mass parameter for compound channel. But, you know, just let, let us stick to one method. I hope you can follow my method. But if you find that other method is more suitable, because actually other method involve, you know, um, it, it, it involve another step, lah, all right, uh, which you have to times, all right, the, uh, the P divided by total P and things like that. So uh, it's up to you, but mine is the simplest. But bear in mind, there are a couple more methods to solve for uh, flow area, weighted parameter for compound section, eh, compound channel. Uh, so this would be the easiest one lah, for our course, right? Uh, if you want to further your master's PhD, uh, you may uh, think you can use another uh, method, all right, which is more accurate, all right. I didn't say this is less accurate, but you are going to have other method which is more accurate, which has higher accuracy, all right. Um, now, um, therefore, all right, since Manning coefficient is given, let's just use the Manning coefficient, roughness coefficient to solve for this. Substitute all the known value. You see, if you're, you get A incorrect, your Q will be incorrect as well. Same thing, if you have P incorrect, uh, you, your rate of flow is going to get, uh, you, you are not going to get the correct answer. So be careful in your calculation, right? Miss? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. Uh, <coughs> Nak tanya satu soalan boleh tak? Boleh tak? Boleh, boleh. Boleh. Uh, slide tu kan. Yang uh, P sama dengan 1.095 times 1.8 tu datang dari mana ya? 1.8? Uh, 1.8 ialah diameter. D kan diameter. D uh, is diameter. Not not A over T eh. Sorry. D would be the diameter. If you look at this. D. Remember, you see this? For circle. Yes. Uh, yeah. D is the diameter. Tapi diameter dia 1.6 kan? Kenapa jadi no, 1.6? No, no, no. Uh, this case, okay. This case is case 1. Do you think this width is the same as diameter? Diameter is measured here, right? Yeah. Uh, so, in this case, diameter is greater than 1.6. You see, uh, the radius is 0 0.8. Diameter should be 1.8, right? 0 0.9 uh, yeah. uh, radius. So, yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry. okay, don't worry, don't worry. I understand. Actually, um, previously, there's another student who asked me the same question, but he got it. Uh, he, he understand it before I even answer him, all right? So, the width that I was saying is 1.6 is this width, huh? the width of the surface. Uh, meanwhile, the diameter is different. Huh? The diameter is actually measured from one point. Uh, to the other point crossing the uh, center lah of the circle. That would be the diameter, all right? So I hope you understand that. Okay, clear, eh? Um, all right then, let's, let's look at another activity. This involves triangular. Eh? So now, uh, this is straightforward. Um, that means the same thing. I hope you try it out, eh? So for 
uh, flow area of triangular, the formula that you are using is that y squared. Uh, now, in this case, it's straightforward. Z is 1.5, all right, because the vertical is already 1. S0 is 0 0.0002, cheesy 67.4, depth of flow, which is y, uh, is 2 meter. Um, right now, I'm just using y, okay. Actually, the symbol for depth of uniform flow is y naught. That means y subscript O. All right, that is the depth of uniform flow. But since we have not learned about critical depth, we have not learned about, you know, other depths, uh, I'm just using y only here, all right? If we, in other chapters, we are going to introduce y naught, lah, which is the same y eh, in here, which is the depth of uniform flow. Now, same thing, find rate of flow, average velocity. You could find average velocity first, then you times A, you are going to get your flow rate, all right? So, V, all right, I hope I don't have to go through, eh? you, you try to do it yourself. Velocity is 0 0.869 meter over second. Uh, then, how to find flow rate is V equals to A, uh, Q equals to A times V. You just times A, you are going to get Q. Now, based on fruit number, determine the state of flow. So you know the formula of fruit number is V velocity divided by square root GD. Now, this is different D. Eh? I hope you understand eh? that is that's how we talk about, you know, circular shape. The D is the diameter because the formula is actually give, show the diagram where you can get the D, all right? So D is equal, in this case, the D is hydraulic depth, which is A over T. All right, so you can get your hydro, uh, fruit number. Okay, so it's less than one. What does it mean less than one? That means your flow, velocity of your flow is less than the gravitational velocity, eh? the velocity due to gravi gravitational force. Therefore, it is subcritical flow, all right? Okay. Um, now, sometimes, you know, in activity 1.1, 2.1, 2.3, 2.2, 2.3, uh, we give you the value of Chasey roughness coefficient. Uh, we supply you with your manning resistance coefficient. However, sometimes there would be questions where you need to find the Chasey coefficient. All right, in this case, uh, you can use either one equation, all right? Actually, there's another equation, but we are going to introduce that equation later, all right? So either you can use the ganglet cutter, okay, or cutter equation or Bayesian equation to find your Chasey roughness coefficient. Now, what is N? N is cutter co uh, coefficient, all right? S naught is the bad slope, lah, all right? Uh, what is M? M is another coefficient, which is Bayesian. R would be your hydro radius, which is A divided by P, all right? So you have that. Um, now, this would be the values of Chasey coefficient, all right? So if you look at this, right, channel is clean and not new channel. Groove, many widths. You know, the rougher, if the channel line, the line of the channel, right, is very rough, all right? Your, Cheesy roughness coefficient is very small. It has small value. But if the channel is clean or smooth, your cheesy coefficient will be high. All right, because you know your cheesy coefficient. All right, let's, let's go to that, our formula. Let's go back to our formula. Okay. Okay. Where is it? Okay. All right, now you see, Chasey coefficient is directly proportional to the velocity. You know, you can imagine that if the channel is smooth, the flow would be very fast because less friction on the uh, side or bottom, all right, and bottom. However, for manning, all right, uh, it is 
Manning to roughness coefficient is inversely proportional with the velocity. So you would you is it's, it's kind of tells you that you know um, great if the channel is very rough, okay, your Manning coefficient is higher. When Manning coefficient is higher, your velocity is going down. That means low slower but slower lah. All right, rate of discharge is slower. All right, so it's inversely proportional. All right. Um, now these are all these uh, uh, Manning roughness uh, coefficient. Um, this value I took it from Venti Chow reference book. You, I already uploaded the Venti Chow reference book. Um, trust me, uh, I would say ninety percent of all the lecturers teaching open channel hydraulics would refer to Venti Chow book. That is a good book. It's, it's like a Bible uh, for hydraulic, uh, open channel hydraulics. Um, and you have to understand our hydraulics for civil engineering is a bit different from hydraulics of um, mechanical engineering students because they involve hydraulic like in um, engine, which has, you know, pressure uh, flow so their hydraulic is a bit different so therefore our hydraulic is normally known also as open channel hydraulics all right we have uh, we actually if you look at our syllabus right four of our chapters four out of six of our chapters involve analysis involving open channel hydraulics except that we do have one chapter on uh, turbine pump and turbines all right okay So these are all the values. Uh, and also, all right, uh, you have, um, I just give you uh, photos uh, for you to understand or, you know, to imagine what roughness coefficient uh, based on, you know, various con uh, channel condition. If you look at this, this roughness coefficient, this channel, right, if you look at the lining, right, with, you know, some grass on the side of the, um, uh, river bank, okay, that would increase the roughness coefficient. Now, sometimes you would ask me, you know, if I give you a roughness coefficient in a range, that means 0 0.02 to 0 0.022, if you, you, if you have this range, what number, what coefficient should you use for your calculation? All right. I will tell you, just use the average. That means just use 0 0.021. However, in your design, all right, if you, you later on, if you are designing a channel, all right, when you practice later, go to the site, check out the site condition. If you look at the site condition, which you think has more, you know, uh, you have, you know, um, rubbish garbage at the bottom and then you have uh, more uh, vegetation all right on the lining you can increase your manning roughness that means you can choose 0 0.022 because you know that higher manning roughness coefficient will actually reduce your velocity all right so that is you know your call all right as engineer all right so and Anyway, if you want to be, uh, design any uh, system, you should go down to the site, visit the site, understand the site condition first, all right, before you design anything. So uh, these are some more, you know, uh, representative of all these many roughness coefficient, all right? Um, and yeah, all this, I took it from MT Chow, all right? Even, uh, you know, this, um, I believe I took it from some of the technical manual, right, uh, of US, if I'm not mistaken, right. Now, um, for those of you who have been to the campus of UTHM, we are going to see these structures. Uh, this is called grass swale. That means you have a drain lined by grass. Line, the lining is grass. Lah. Um, it's served for, if, normally, right, if it's dry weather, if it's not raining, okay, you are going to see it's dry, okay. We call it a uh, detention, detention uh, system, basically. Eh? If it's raining time, 
or if it's during wet season, you are going to have flow in it. All right. Okay, then. Um, there is another activity here. I think in your slide, the numbering of activities is a bit different because I rearranged all right, before your class. Um, now, in this case, Right, calculate velocity and discharge in a trapezoidal channel. Okay, you are given cutter. If you are given cutter, you have to use that cutter formula, ganglet cutter formula, to find your chasey coefficient in order to solve for this equation. So I hope you know how to find the flow area for trapezoidal weighted parameter. By now, you should be able to do it yourself. Right. So substitute the cutter. Uh, coefficient uh, to get your chasey coefficient. Uh, now, I hope you do try this out, all right? Substituting this is remember, eh? uh, sometimes we are going to use interchangeably because this is specifically it tells you cutter and right, so that means you know that you are going to use cutter, lah, all right? Ganglet cutter formula to find for chasey. Try this out. Okay, this equation may look simple, but if you are going to calculate it in your calculation, I believe even in my physical class, right, I have so many students questioning me, how come their answer is not the same as mine? Uh, so make sure you have this calculate properly. For example, if you are using calculator, you should put bracket first, for the numerator, that means you have you have to open bracket 23 plus 0 0.015 divided by your SM value plus 1 over N and then close bracket for the numerator. For the denominator, you also have to do the same thing. That means numerator divided by open a bracket first, 1 plus, open another bracket and then solve it, close the bracket. All right, you should try this out, okay? You look at this formula, it's simple, and then you directly plug in 23 plus and divided by, you are going to get the different answer, right? Try it out, it should be 76.77 lah. Uh, this is actually five significant number already. You could give me 76.77, all right? Cheesy. Cheesy meaning value is, it doesn't, they, they don't have unit, eh? it's dimensionless, all right? They don't have unit. So try it out. So you are going to get velocity of uh, eleven point zero three meters per second. So discharge is straightforward. This is a continuity equation, which is a times v. All right. So you have there uh, one thousand five hundred twenty two point one meter cube over second. You could give me point one is enough. All right, because it's more than five significant number already. Okay. Uh, it's more than four significant number. So there's another activity. Find equivalent basin num basin coefficient for activity the previous activity and eh, compare it with chasey coefficient obtained from Carter N and basin M. Okay. Let me ask one of you. Azarudin. Can I have Azarudin, please? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, Azar. Um, Aza, do you think your KZ coefficient from Carter N and Basin M would be the same? Uh, yes, Doctor. Uh, okay, if you are lucky, you are going to find it the same. Thanks, Aza. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you. But if you look at Carter and Bayesian formula, right, they are different, okay. Uh, they are different. Uh, why different, okay? Where is it? <laughs> I couldn't find it already. Okay. You see, Carter depends on hydraulic radius and N and S0. Bayesian doesn't depend on S0 at all and it only depends on M, which is another coefficient and R, okay? So my answer to that question, yes, you are going to have a different KZ coefficient, all right? But if you are lucky, like Azar said, all right, yes, you are going to get the same answer, all right? So uh, because I encountered this problem because student asked me, how come my answer is not the same for both formula? Yes, you are not going to get the same answer because um, 
if you have gone through the dimensional analysis um, using Buckingham Pi theorem, theorem that you have learned during your fluid mechanics, you are going to get to learn where how people form all this equation is true. Um, you know, dimensional dimensional analysis as well as experimental data. So we or you could be a scientist by forming your own equation, especially when you do your PhD and also masters in research. You you are going to have chance of developing your own equations. All right. Uh, so you right now we are learning using equations being developed introduced by other people first all right so therefore okay the answer will be you see look at this all right there will be different a bit different lah, all right but you can get the same if you are lucky all right okay that means that uh, coincident lah, eh? by coincidence you'll get the same answer now um you see just now i told you earlier um you know using Manning Chasey formula. Sometimes we don't really necessarily ask you directly to find velocity or discharge. We sometimes would ask you to find, you know, hydraulic, uh, you know, your depth of flow, S naught, or even with channels with. All right, it doesn't matter. All right, it depends. All right, in this case, it's still direct. Okay, that means you find velocity. All right, I I think you should be able to do this your own. Try it out then let me know if you have problem you know um we our class is normally one hour after that you may ask me any question it's easier if you ask me you know within that after our class rather than sometimes it's difficult for me to answer you in your in text but if you are here all right if you are in at campus you can always come to see me, all right? I can explain it to you easier, all right? Um, now, okay, let's look at this activity. I don't know in your slide, uh, in your notes, probably it's different numbering, eh? Uh, in this activity, right, you're, you are asked to find the longitudinal or bottom slope to carry 50 meter cube of uh, 50 cusack of uh, discharge at a depth of three meter. All right. So what is uh, related with activity two point five? So you have many uh, roughness coefficient given. All right. So uh, and then oh, flow area of using those uh, from acti previous activity. Uh, so you have many discharge. All right. So this time discharge is fifty. All right, S naught, you need to find what is the S naught. So you substitute all the known values. All right, so you can rearrange this equation eh? uh, so that, uh, you know, uh, you have S naught as a function of the other variables. Okay, so you have that S naught is 0 0.00712. Um, sometimes if you get the answer of S naught, you have higher S naught, for example, greater than... Uh, that means zero, greater than some number, for example, maybe one or more than one. Uh, you have to understand uh, if it's more than one, okay, then there, you know, your channel is like really uh, steep, lah, all right, basically. So you have to understand what is S0. How do you do? Do we find this slope? You have a channel, right? The slope is actually vertical divided by. The horizontal therefore you are going to get the slope all right okay all right that's another activity now earlier we straight away find discharge then we find this uh, bad slope then in this case the question asks you to find the roughness coefficient all right of the channel so we have here a triangular channel with effect sometimes you know, you, you are going to encounter what as apex angle, vertex angle. It's all the same, eh? It's this angle here, all right? Uh, you have 75 degree. I'm going to increase this diagram, eh? Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. Eh, 
Oh, I already have this diagram drawn. Okay. Okay. This one. Okay. So 75 degree. Uh, this is your apex angle. Okay. Uh, uh, carries flow of 1.2 meter cube. Uh, sorry, eh, uh, typo or grammatical error. At a depth of 0 0.8 meter. So Y is 0 0.8 meter. Bed slope is 0 0.009. Um, bear in mind, bed slope is normally a small number eh, for open channel uh, analysis. Find roughness calculation C and D. Eh, sorry, T and N. They are not the same, eh? KZ coefficient and N are from different, uh, you know, interpretation and also from different observation. So they are not the same. They should not be the same as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so therefore, okay, uh, in order to find roughness uh, coefficient, what you have to do is, if you look at the Manning formula, right, and KZ formula, okay, where is it? Okay. You need to find N. Right? Someone just joined. You need to find N. Therefore, it should be given Q, A, R, and S0. All right. So S0 is given, Y is given, so you can find A and R already. So is Q given? Yes. Q is given as well. All right. So therefore, all right, the next thing would be to find A, right? Because Y is given, so you need to find A. Now, in order to find A, since your equation for A and P are in terms of Z, okay, so look at this, okay, there are many ways, all right, that we ask you to find your Z. In this question, 75 degree is given, so don't ask me can I find Z or not, all right. So in this case, it's always you can find Z, all right. So how do you find Z is, you know that the angle between 1 and Z, all right, is actually uh, 90 degree minus 75 divided by 2. So you'll get this. Because you know this is 75, point, 75 divided by 2, all right, which is um, the other side, yeah, the angle that makes the uh, uh, how I, I forgot the term already, right? Okay, this is the, the angle, okay? Uh, yeah, the opposite angle, right? So it should be, this angle should be 75 degree divided by 2. So how do you find this angle is 90 minus 75 by, divided by 2, you'll get this. Now, can I use this angle to find that? Yes, okay. Now, I can have 75 divided by 2, so sine Oh, sorry, tangent 75 degree divided by 2 is Z over 1, all right? So, uh, therefore, Z is tangent 75 degree over 2, so I have 0 0.767. The other way if you can check, all right? This angle is 90 degree divided, uh, sorry, 90 degree minus 75 Divided by 2, so you have this angle, okay, so tangent 1 over z would be, tangent of this angle would be 1 over z. So you, z, you are going to get the same answer too, no matter which angle you are using, as long as your tangent, you know, you get it correct, uh, the coefficient. So you have there, z is 0 0.767, alright, so therefore, alright, uh, I show both, all right? I, I have shown here both, all right? So you can get uh, your Z. Therefore, you can solve for A and R, P and R, all right? Um, bear with me for another few minutes, and eh? I'm going to uh, finish this up first. So many equation, therefore, all right, is given as uh, that. Uh, since many coefficient is given, right? Uh, no, you need to find Manning coefficient. So you need to use Manning and Chazy equation to solve this because you also need to find Chazy uh, uh, coefficient, right? So Manning is 0 0.015. So 0 0.015 is actually concrete lining. That means you will expect the channel is concrete channel, lah, all right? So Q for Chazy equation, you are going to get 52 point something. So it's kind of smooth channel, right? It's 52.15. Remember just now, as the chazy value in, gets higher, it's actually the channel is smoother, right? 
So you have there one uh, sample. So this is another activity eh, where you need to find the length of the channel. Now, what relates the length of the channel uh, with you know your formula of Chazy and many? Is it actually just longitudinal slope? Remember, you have a channel, all right? You have a channel, all right? Now, how do you determine this slope here of the channel? Of course, you are going to have you know, vertical divided by your horizontal, all right? So you are going to get this slope. If your slope is steep, okay, you expect the value of your vertical height, all right, relatively higher than previous one, the mouse slope one, all right? So now if you ask me what is the length of the channel, I don't mind you to give the horizontal length. Because actually, if you look at the slope, it's very small. It's actually almost similar, all right, to this, uh, um, you know, the sloping length. It doesn't matter, all right? So I hope you understand that. You can try this out. So I think it's already one hour. I'm not going to go further, okay? So I'm going to share half of the slide first with you. Oh, there are so many slides now, right? Okay. So we are going to continue our class on Thursday. Uh, now, do you have or do you need me to repeat anything from our class today? Or do you have any questions so far? Uh, doctor, sorry, Doctor. Azza. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, if, if we came back to for the first activity that you have been uh, okay. explained just now. All right. Uh, which activity two point four in your slide is what activity? Uh, I don't remember the the, uh, the point of activity. The first activity that uh, you explained just now. This the, the first the, one. Uh, uh, this one. Okay. Uh, yes. uh, okay. Okay. Uh, 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 the previous previous slide. Uh, Sorry. Previous. The, uh, next next slide. Uh, the the. the before or after? The for the oh, circular design. The ah, this this guy, this one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think the the similar of our the previous quiz. Yeah, correct, correct. Okay, it's actually the, the same. I think it's the same. I, I, think, <laughs> I think I did the wrong answer because. No, the, don't worry. The, you know, you know, your quiz is only five percent of all the total grade. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> no, here's the thing. If you uh, want to improve your grade for your quiz, let me know. Uh, I can right. I can give you a quiz from another chapter. Is it okay? <laughs> okay, uh, doctor. Okay. Okay. All right. okay, doctor. But but the as, as that, is... yes. Okay, your question is. The question is, uh, is it we can, uh, for the segment or the section number one, uh, is it we can assume the the the, for the, the segment is the, for the semicircle and then we can find no. the... No. Why, why not? Okay, because why? The, because the vector of the <laughs> circle... No, if you assume it as, as semicircle, like, it, just a second, um, I'm going there... Okay. Um, where is it? Uh, let's go back. I think we okay. This guy. Okay. Let's let's go. Uh, you you still able to look at this right? Okay. So let me yeah. see. Okay. If you said you are going to. Okay. Let me draw um, a circle. Doctor. Doctor. Yes, can I you is. repeat Emily? Ah, uh, can 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 can. Okay. Now, kalau lah you nak assume dia satu semicircle, you think eh? Ini satu bulatan kan? Betul. Saya kata, ah, uh, let's see, let let's see. Um, I don't have enough function. Wait, I need to enlarge this. Okay, boom. Uh, I need to take this shape format. Okay. So, okay. Now, then half circle would be uh, half. All right. Okay. This would be your half circle. 
Okay. Aza and uh, 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 and the whole class, huh? if you say half circle, right? If you compute this already, let me color this. Right, shape. And then let's see. More feel. I can have this transparent for 80. Okay. If you already compute this for half, how are you going to determine this, this area here? You, you understand or not? And then you see uh, there's an additional. This is what makes, just now you said your diameter is 1.8, right? This is 0 0.1 meter, 0 0.1 meter that you exceed, right? Am I right? Do, do you understand or not? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, by right, you actually only calculate, okay, let's do this. You actually have this part here. Huh. Am I right? But let's yeah. have this yeah, different <laughs> color. Ah, you understand right right now? Okay. It's different, right? Yes. Ah, okay, great. Okay. So um does that answer, Azar? Azar already uh, so okay? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so much um young young the sec the blue color. Mm -hmm. Saya buat yang macam tu masa kita maksudnya yeah. saya saya kena kena buat yang blue color punya. Kalau lah okay. you buat sem semi circle nanti nak cari yang bahagian ni nak tolak berapa? <laughs> Betul tak? Lagi rumit. Betul tak? Okey okey. Ha sebab formula dia memang carikan in, luas ini dah straightforward. Kalau you guna, guna formula di dikuasa 2 bahagi 8 tu kan dalam kurungan 2 theta minus sin 2 theta kan ha, formula dia dah memang set set cari area ni ha. alright uh, so so ok lagi ada soalan lain tak anyone uh, any question ah uh, yeah Azhar uh, sorry doktor ada lagi satu ah boleh so, boleh kalau, kalau untuk semi circular ni uh, kita perlu cari theta juga ke Ah, uh, theta straightforward lah. Ah, uh, kalau semi circle like this one, this one right? This is semi circle. That means your two theta is straight away to 180 degree. 180, 180. Okay, mm. okay, okay. Kalau tak percaya kan? You you cari area guna 180 degree. Lepas tu you guna formula pi di kuasa dua per lapan tu kan? Ingat tak formula yang dulu kita belajar dulu kan? Pi di kuasa dua per empat bahagi lagi separuh dapat semi circle kan? You bandingkan yeah. jawapan dia pasti sama. The answer oh, would be the same. Okay, okay. <laughs> alright. Okay, okay, alright. Alright, right, thank okay. you. Doctor. You're welcome. Ini saya. Sorry kalau saya tanya soalan. Ah, siapa boleh? Ah, ah uh, sebenarnya saya tak faham dekat kan dia semi circle. Lepas tu doktor draw satu triangle. Hmm. Uh, motif dia sebab apa eh? Saya tak faham yang tu. Uh, apa apa triangle-nya? Uh, ada satu-satu triangle macam nak cari dia punya macam Pythagoras theorem. Kan atas tu 0.9, bawah tu 0.8. Oh, ada yang previous slide tu. Previous slide eh. Let's uh, look at previous slide. Uh, this one? Lagi satu, lagi satu. Uh, yang this quiz one. Ah, uh, this one. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh kan bawah ni uh, macam satu Pythagoras theorem kan bawah ni uh -huh. 0.8 yang atas tu 0.9 dia punya okay. hiatus tu kan yes. Ha apa tu doktor lukis tu sebagai apa? Oh. Nak cari theta because kalau saya nak guna formula ini mm -hmm. Saya nak cari theta d nak cari vector parameter saya nak cari flow area uh, mesti saya kena guna nak cari nilai theta kan tu theta Oh betul. memang kalau, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. So kalau macam tu memang kita kena buat macam tu jugalah. Ya yeah, betul, ya. Yeah. Oh okay, okay. Thank you, uh, thank you. Saya tak faham situ je. Alright. Okay, uh, Zaida tu was asking for those. Huh? Zaida tu was asking why do I need to draw this diagram. Okay, now since we are using this formula, we need to find theta. Now how do we find theta given that, you know, only uh, radius is given and also, you know, the width of, uh, imagine this is a free surface of this segment, eh? So, how do we find it? We need to use this uh, trigo function, lah, alright? That means uh, theta is related to 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 by the sine function, alright? Okay. Lagi? Ada soalan lagi? Uh, 
Any question? Uh, doctor? Ah, Azza. Uh, sorry, uh, last question. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 if we drive along the along the plus highway, we can see at the our left side there is uh, some of the chute drain at our slope, <coughs> at the slope. And then I got a, I have a two type of uh, chute drain, with, which is the one of the step. And then the second one is the, like a staircase. Is that the design for the staircase to, to reduce the velocity of the water flow? Ah, it's actually to reduce the velocity as well. Um, actually, right, if you ask me, this is when you go drive along the highway uh, and you can see the steps, right? Am I right? Uh, here's the thing, yeah. uh, Azza, yeah, yeah. the main yeah, purpose, there's only, if you look at it, right, the staircase is actually there if the drain is very long. If it's, the drain is short, at a dis I, I, I forgot how short, when I said short is about how many uh, hundred meters, I forgot already. If it's long, that means you are going to expect one drain that comes out. It's actually to, to reduce the discharge that is flowing out at the exit. So they say they, they, they discharge the flow first, all right, in the middle, uh, things like that. Is that clear? Okay. Sebenarnya you nampak macam step kan, dekat highway kan? Uh, sebenarnya, <laughs> kalau perasan, step tu ada kalau drain dekat atas, uh, berm ataupun bench tu kan, kalau panjang, baru you perasan ada step. Kalau pendek, biasanya takkan ada step. Uh, dia sebenarnya nak kurangkan emar aliran yang akan uh, berkumpul di titik uh, di hilir lah, alright, di downstream. Okay, so that's why di tengah-tengah tu dia kata discharge dulu. Ha, itu maksudnya. Boleh eh? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Dr. You're welcome. Okay, lagi? <laughs> oh, bagus eh. You all dah, uh, you know, it's, it's good, you know, that you, when you go out, you look at the drains, you get a feel of it. Yeah, that, that, that is like, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> all right. Okay, kalau if there is no question, um, I'll see you at quarter past eight in the morning next uh, on Thursday. Is it okay? Okay, doctor. Okay, doctor. Right. Okay, doctor. I'll see you guys. Okay, doctor. Thank you, 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 doctor. Thank you. 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 Thank you.